you know, growing up, I would come over to your house and yeah. and get your little Debbies. Well, I had I had plenty to go around. <laughs> Good Mythical Morning. Here at Mythical Enterprises, LLC, we firmly believe that if we can dream it, we can do it. And by do it, we literally mean reaching into our own private rip in the space-time continuum and pulling out snacks from different layers of the multiverse. As far as we know, our travels in and out of alternate universes have not had any catastrophic effects on our present timeline. And we maintain that the events of 2020 are completely unrelated to this unregulated experiment. <laughs> Yeah, what he said. It's time for Multiverse Munchies. It's true, we brought back all the snacks we're gonna sample today from alternate universes, yes. and our mission is to assess each one and then decide if it's from a delicious machine <laughs> yeah, or if it's a snack offension. First up, now in our universe, we have Little Debbie's Oatmeal Cream Pie. Look at you this know beautiful them, box, them. man. It's so comforting. I mean, I, I've never looked at this and found myself thinking, I, I want to go to another dimension. I bet it could be better. Whoa, 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 whoa. We found another universe where they have giant Deborah's oatmeal cream pie. <laughs> oh, uh, in this universe, you <laughs> yeah. do not simply buy the snack and bring it in. Yeah, you uh, have to summon right. giant Deborah in verse. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant, giant Deborah, Deborah, hear our call. You are big and we are small. We hunger for your oatmeal treat. Cream pie is all we want to eat. We pledge our loyalty for all you do. Giant Deborah, please come through. Someone summon Giant Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. Deborah, you're so giant. Wow. Yes, I am. I am the tallest one here. It by is. a long shot. And, and, and your oatmeal cream pie. It's freaking. Is this is this where I pull out here? Yeah, right, right oh there. Oh my goodness. Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh. Do you? Wow! <laughs> here, take the packaging. Look at that. Uh, are you? It, it's you're not gonna eat those. It's supposed to be loyal to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget that. I didn't. Yeah, I, you know what? You can take them with you, and I don't know if that'll screw anything up in your universe, but just feel free to. Okay, wow. Giant Deborah is look terrifying. How pretty she is on the back. <laughs> <laughs> a little chest hair goes a long way. 61 and... <laughs> years. So, so in this universe, uh, they're all terrified of Deborah, and it's like a fascist panopticon. Is it hard? Yeah. Oh, get, you gotta yeah. get through it. There you go, yeah. muscle through. Yeah, I can do it, I can do it. Everybody worships Giant Deborah, and um, cream is everywhere. Cream is like infesting everything. Take oh my gosh. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that cross section, y'all. That's large. Now, I, you know, growing up, I would come over to your house and, yeah. and get your little Debbies. Well, I had <laughs> I had plenty to go around. I wasn't hiding my little Debbies. Uh, you, were, you, were, you shared so much. I was a big fudge round guy. I You could have all the cre oatmeal cream pies you wanted. Just don't mess with my fudge rounds. Should you just go in the middle? I think we should just go in the middle, yeah. A dank it. And a sink it. Oh, it's so creamy. It tastes exactly the same. That look, cream. Look at that, look at that cream. It's a, it's a magical. Look at that. Oh, man. I mean, I'm not just being transported to another dimension. That's dead on. I'm being transported to my childhood, man. And th they did make... And actually, still do. You can get them at like grocery store, uh, uh, gas stations, convenience stores. A little one. bit. Easy. They make giant ones, which I thought were giant until I saw this. I they, mean, they don't make them. They don't make them this as size. big as a pizza. Yeah, I mean, it's a little scary. This is just a simple formula. When you got something that's good and mm. it gets bigger and there's more of it, that's always a good thing. So, giant Deborah's oatmeal cream pie, delicious, delicious dimension. dimension. In our universe, mozzarella sticks can't hurt you unless you eat them too fast and stretchy mozzarella gets lodged in your throat and Fazoli's waitress has to administer the Heimlich in front of the entire restaurant. Ooh. Been there. Oh yeah. But we found another dimension where things are much more dangerous and they don't have mozzarella sticks. They have mozzarella stones. Mm. Yeah, boy, whoa, okay. <clears throat> they are hard, because well, the plate's hard too. Hard? 
hard. <laughs> I think I'm gonna exacerbate my TMJ if I really go for that. Uh -huh. um, which, you know what? I, I made a little progress. But... That's why they come with chisels. <laughs> uh, bring the cutting board over. Okay. <clears throat> so let me see if I can just get a little bit shaved off the side here. I just, I like this little mallet. That's, oh, there we go. That's fun. There we go. There we go. Now you get. Oh, oh, that is tasty. Yeah. Oh, it's I, strong. I, I mean, imagine coming. I mean, this is like a table side guac type situation. Yeah. Some like miner comes to your table. It just it. like slices off cheese hunks. Get a get a get a taste of it, man. It's better than a regular mozzarella stick. Also, you should know that in this universe, you don't get kidney stones, you get kidney sticks, and that's even worse. <laughs> it's real bad. Look at that. I could do this all night from table to table, getting tips, you know? So you're not really into the eating part, you're into the sculpting part. Yeah. This is consistent with your personality. I mean, um, and no one seems to be scared. Yeah, you can't hurt somebody too bad with the chisel because it's directed in a very specific place. I mean, I had to get my hand. I mean, I could, I could out of miss, but like you could this. hurt yourself, and nobody cares about that. Okay. I think these are great. I think it's fun. Things having a great time. So we're saying mozzarella stones, delicious, delicious dimension. dimension. Before we get to this next strange dimensional item, we are pleased to introduce the last quarterly collectible item of 2020 for the Mythical Society. It's these one of a kind. Well, we, uh, I mean, I guess everyone gets one who gets one. It's not just one of a kind. Retlink bobbleheads, which are only available to the Mythical Society third degree members. And you can join the third degree monthly by October 31st or the third degree quarterly or annual by December 31st to qualify. Yes, yes. Just go yes, to mythicalsociety.com yes, for yes. details. Those th I mean, these things are these things are nicely made, man. Look at that. We're sitting behind the desk. And we're, also we're nodding in agreement constantly. As you can see, the cutouts here, this box itself can be transformed into the set that you see behind us right now. And then you for display can put purposes. us on the set, man. What? It's cool, man. You can what? put us on the set. It's us. They don't talk, but if they did, they'd talk like this. It's <laughs> us. It's us. Get it. All right. MythicalSociety.com. Okay, now everybody knows. In our universe, we got the fast food chain White Castle. They're uh -huh. very clear about what they offer. Delicious sliders and explosive diarrhea. <laughs> they go hand in hand. But in another slightly different universe, what you see is not exactly what you get because they have mm -hmm. Off White Castle. <laughs> Ow, wow. So, so everything that you would expect to experience at White Castle is just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, so on, baby. the buns, are entirely white. You can't get them I'm out? Be, I'm being careful with it. Being careful with it. Here's you one. <laughs> Here's you one. Oh my gosh. That is a, what appears, I mean it looks like they spray paint their buns white, but maybe it's. it's maybe they don't. Maybe that's maybe not what don't. it is. It's just, maybe it's just, it's just a little bit white. And then underneath, you've got, not pickles, but you've got pickled parsnips, which are a off-white vegetable. But they're still onions. Yeah, and, and you've got a kind of an off beef patty. Off beef. Which I think is what they what I call pork. And instead of ketchup, they've got, uh, this basically is just creamed potatoes uh, made into a sauce. Uh, so if you wanna make yours a little bit uh, soft, saucy, you're gonna have to figure out a way to do that because I don't have anything to put uh, on there. Just do that. Just dip, just dip, you dip, we dip. I mean, it. it looks crazy. And off. Let's try it. Mm. It's not that it's bad. It's just that it's off. It's a little bit off. Through and through off. In this universe, Harold and Kumar are both played by Tilda Swinton. Right. You know, that makes sense. <laughs> and Fifty Shades of Grey is a cookbook. <laughs> now this, my friend, is a struggle. Like I said, it's not horrible, but it's not as good the as more, White Castle. The more I eat it, the more horrible it gets. Um, okay, I think the answer's pretty clear. Off-White Castle, snack of invention. I don't know if you've noticed, Rhett, but a shift has taken place shift. right here on Good Mythical Morning. 
Uh, and I think I'm okay with it. Oh, shifting. Yeah. Frosted Mini Wheats has been dethroned as my favorite cereal yeah. by Raisin Bran Crunch, which has led me to other dimensions in search of an alternate. And I found one. There is a dimension full of geniuses whose brains are as big as cooked turkeys. And to keep them sharp, uh, they don't eat Raisin Bran Crunch, they eat Raisin Brain Crunch. Yum! Yeah, this is, this is great because they kept the raisins, they removed the bran and replaced it with crunchy pieces of brain. Yum, I'm still hungry. Uh, I mean, the, the package looks great. I mean, it's even got a maze on the back. So you're telling me that. And yes, there is real dehydrated brain, crunchy brain pieces in this thing. So in this universe, universe. you get smarter by consuming more brains? Makes sense to me. That's been your thesis since yeah, the beginning I've of eating brains I've been saying that for years. Hey, you, you wanna, you wanna pull Oh the gosh, brain? the smell coming out of that. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a maze on the back. <laughs> Where was your brain when I said there was a maze in the back? I was thinking about how nasty, oh gosh, look, there's. Oh my goodness. There's more than two scoops of brains in there, I'll tell you that right now. I mean, that is some serious, it's like, all brains. So dehydrated sheep brain. Uh, and hydrated sheep milk. Ah, so it's still kind of your thing even in this, when we visit this universe. Yeah, well, yeah. We're not really visiting How much do you want? I mean, I really don't That's know. That's plenty. It doesn't matter. I, it's not gonna affect anything. Yeah. It's gonna taste like trash no matter what I do. It's my assumption. But you know what? I should keep an open mind. Speaking of mind, the thing I love about this is um, the maze on the back? They No, on the side, they support neurologists um, to get brains responsibly and sustainably. Mm. Learn more at the internet. <laughs> at the internet, yeah, yeah. They've, that's, they've still got the internet in this place. Oh, gosh, what a, it looks like, like terraformed walnuts. Okay, that's an interesting description. Like the whole thing, it just look, doesn't it look like walnuts? Well, if that makes you feel better, my brain won't go there though, okay. I'll, it seems all I can do is just get brains, and so. At least it's not juicy. I'm trying to get some milk in there, here we go. Letting it and sink it. Think about terraform walnuts. <coughs> it it tastes like a pet store smells. It crunches like a walnut and you're exactly right. The raisins help. Mm. It's really awful. I don't think that brain milk is gonna help you at all. Mm. Uh, I don't wanna go to another dimension. <laughs> I think I'd just be real dumb in this dimension. <sighs> I got it. Yeah. But I'm afraid that I've ruined my favorite cereal in the process. Oh gosh, you still don't have it down? You feel, I think you're getting smarter. Ah, got it. Look at, look, you're smarter. Look at him, he's smarter. You can see it? You can see it on my face? Uh, okay. That was, that was, uh, that was good. unnecessary. Yeah. I mean, really, ultimately, the more you think about it, the more unnecessary it seems. Don't Raisin think about it. Brain Crunch is a snack mm. of offension. Oh, thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You want some? You can get it on the internet. You would not want to smell my breath right now. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Bia from Brazil, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Brazil? Was that some Was that some embroidery, crochet, I don't know the proper term in the beginning of that? What's the proper term? Do you know? I think it was just a Brazilian. <laughs> okay, click the top link to I watch miss, us. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, you weren't looking at the oh, very yeah. beginning. It's, in a, it's a crochet. Crochet. Click the top link to watch us smell food scented nail polish in this dimension in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Join the Mythical Society Third Degree Monthly by October 31st to get the Retin Link Bobbleheads. Third Degree Quarterly and Third Degree Annual Plan purchases automatically qualify. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.